welcome Melissa and Jerry Keller of John Nix out of Pennsylvania to 13 Questions with PXL. How are you guys doing today? Doing good, Sarah. How are you? Yay. Doing good. How are you? Loving life up here in Michigan. <laughs> Jealous? <laughs> Jealous? Are you see? <gasps> yes, You're, very much oh, so. I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> I Not love Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is so pretty. I've, I've driven you, through. You've only been through? Yeah, 11 times I've driven through. <laughs> but you've never visited any any places? I, I did not. Have not had the chance to anyway. All right. So we'll start with the 13 questions. How many uh, people do you have on your crew? Um, for the most part, it's just Jerry and I. But we okay. do have a team that does come with us when we need them. Okay. Um, probably three other ones. Three or okay. Four. Nice. Nice. So how did you get your name for your crew? Well, <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, 12 years ago. We, a friend of mine, uh, my girlfriend, Diana, we just was, we were just talking. We were watching the TV programs, thinking it would be cool to go out and do it. Okay. And I just made reference to her that it was just one of those things of the night. So I took all of the letters and made jot, and I took Latin while I, while I was in high school. Okay. So, and Nix in Latin is of the night, so that's how we formed Jot Nix. Oh, I love it. Yeah, very catchy. It. It, it is catchy. It's like, wait, what? Yes, I love it. So what got you into the paranormal field? You first. <laughs> I lived in Columbia, Pennsylvania. It was a very haunted house, so me and my brother heard a lot of paranormal well, stuff that we couldn't figure out, so it kind of got right. me into that. So. For sure. Similar experiences growing up. Um, homes, we live in the river towns okay. uh, here in Pennsylvania, the Civil War Trail. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's a lot of haunted places over here. So. Tons of history. There is. You can't walk into a home around here and not have something happen. There right. Are. Oh, right. geez. Yeah, I'm going to have to make a trip out there. You are correct. Yeah. <laughs> We're about an hour and a half from Gettysburg. Hour. Oh, okay. So, oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they put a bridge down uh, so it would stop the south and going to the north on the York side, York County side. So it was yeah. A Gettysburg battle. Yep. Oh, how cool. A lot of history over here. Oh my gosh, yes. And where there's history, there's paranormal. That's right. It's weird how that falls into place. Yeah, it's water. great. Yeah, we have a lot of water here. <laughs> and, yeah. The okay. Railroad came through here. Wow, that is so cool to be around all that history. Yeah, a little, a little lesson. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm always learning something. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you feel is your team's biggest asset? Oh, well, with my husband being hard of hearing, mm -hmm. my sister um, has, she has premonitions when she was a child. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're trying to, we're trying to build up her, her gift that she has. Yes. Sometimes yes. she shuts it down. She's, oh, yeah. also, she's also deaf. She okay. Had, um, she had some um, problems with her inner ear growing up. Okay. So she has to wear two hearing aids. So being mm -hmm. that she's hard of hearing, my husband's hard of hearing, we kind of use that because they have, they're forced to use other senses. Oh, yeah, for sure. That's yeah. that's great. That's yeah. why I think that helps. I mean, yeah. we have, you know, the age group also. My mother, who is 70, does our research for us. Oh, so okay, yeah. We have a, we, our age group is, is expanded. Yeah. Okay, and it's a family affair. That's great. It is. It took yeah. them a long time to accept the fact that we were into the paranormal, but once they did and understood what we did and it wasn't bad as people yes. make it, then they got on board. So it's, yeah. it's really nice to have them around. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I'm going through that to myself where half the family's like, hey, that's cool, and the other half's like, oh, my God. Like, I thought you were raised better than that, and I'm like, it has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with that. <laughs> right, right. It's just intriguing. It, it's a hobby what we do. That's right. And, Very expensive hobby. Yeah, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. But you get to see so many cool things and, and learn history. You're learning 
about other things besides paranormal. A lot of people don't realize that either. You know, there's there is so much history with it. I used to hate history. I didn't realize I was going to learn to love it. (laughs) Yeah, my husband's more on the history side than I am. Oh, okay. Yeah, he he informs me and teaches me. Right. See, it works out. That's great. It does. Everybody bring in something different. I look up the paranormal. Heck yeah. You meet in the middle. That's awesome. What is your uh, favorite location so far that you've done? We are torn between that, him and I. Mine's the <laughs> Trans Allegheny Lunatic. Okay. okay. It's also, I have two actually. It's also one of our hometown favorites. It's six miles up the road from where we live. Yes. Okay. So the Haldeman Mansion. Oh, so wow. That's one of our, that's where we uh, saw our first shadow person. So. Okay. So that was pretty cool. And mine would be uh, Mansfield Informatory. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm but I'm poor that. because we had so much stuff happen. Yeah. Happen, so. And Hornman. Yeah. Hornman's a great place. Okay. That is so oh, awesome. Yeah. yeah. Neat, neat. Now, what is on your bucket list for locations? Ooh. Well, we have to make a trip to the Hinsdale house. Okay. Um, we are going to, the Shanley was actually on our bucket list, but we're joining, um, Dawn and Jason there October 4th. Yeah. Okay. So Great. we're going up with them on October 4th, which is, we're excited about. Yes. Um, okay, yes. The Hinsdale house. You said Alcatraz. And Alcatraz. I will get there sometime. Oh. Uh, it'll fly, so it'll be a, a bucket list of flying. It'll be a long drive. It, yes. Yeah. But imagine if you drive out there, though. Oh my gosh! All that other history that you'll see driving right. through—that's I'm like, shoot! I'll drive, the, you know, to those cool places and then find the stops in between, make it a whole thing. Yeah, Heck yeah, yeah. yeah we, well, with turning fifty next year, we are we want to go to. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm gonna pronounce it wrong. I know I am. <laughs> Is it the Stanley Hotel out in Colorado? Stanley. St- Stanley. Stanley? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's where we that's where I want to go. And I want to stay in the Stephen King room. I want to yeah. do that. So. Well that's right on your way to California. I agree. Yeah, it is. I agree. <laughs> it's be a long trip. I know. Yeah. It'll be great. That'd yeah. be a lot of fun. It Just would be a lot of fun. Travel across the east to west. Out. Yep. So yes. that's awesome. Um, what's your favorite paranormal topic besides spirits? Like aliens, uh, uh, now I'm like, <laughs> the urban oh, legends. <laughs> no, you, you, no, you go ahead. So what was the question? Sorry. Uh, what is our favorite topic of paranormal? Oh, boy. <laughs> That's a tricky one. I know. No it is a tricky one. <laughs> I never even thought of that. Yeah. I, I geared more towards like divination and crossing over that, the spiritual yeah. side to it. Okay. I, I'm more drawn to that side. Um, like, like, like afterlife experiences and yeah. stuff like that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like yeah. That's fair. Things like that. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. I think for me, I, I guess I'm a little different. I love the paranormal, but what made it? Trying to figure out what caused that and then figuring out it wasn't. Yeah. Good. Right. You know, the scientific part. We we're always trying to debunk. Yeah. You know, oh, yeah. Debunk is really cool. To, we can't figure it out. So I, I think I like that side. What's the yeah. history? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Being an investigator is kind of like a puzzle, I I think. And not knowing if you have all the pieces at the end of it, you know. Absolutely. Like you got to keep going. And definitely a fun thing. Yeah, we um, get irritated when we can't figure it out. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And then you're like, <laughs> I need answers. Yes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. So how long have you guys been doing investigations? Uh, we started in 2008. So okay. About 11 years. Wow. Years. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And still loving it. Still have that passion. We do. We do. That is great. What would you say like your average length of an investigation that you guys do? Average length? Yeah. I would say five or six hours. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Five or six hours. Okay. 
Yeah. And if me and her, it lasts longer. So we'll do more of the asking questions and mm-hmm. bring, yeah. bring out things. Yeah. So, or if there are other team we don't do as much. Okay. Work into it, so it seems to go a little quicker. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, for sure, for sure. Yeah, they don't know what they ask, I guess, sometimes. <laughs> they that ask. is true. Yeah. But with you being a history buff, that should make it a little easier for the for mm-hmm. the, the questions, because sometimes I get in there, I'm like, ooh, but knowing a little bit of what you are walking into or maybe the situations that happen. So that's helpful. I need to get myself a history buff. Right. We, we he usually <laughs> does research along with my mother. So okay. we kind of get the history before we go in there. Oh, but sure. being that the other team, they don't go with us a lot. So right. when they do go with us, they tend to follow our lead. Oh, and for we're sure. And to teach them. They're still, I don't want to say they're still learning, but Agreed. we're still learning. Yeah. So, oh, it, yeah. We're just a little bit further ahead. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I got gotcha. you. We just steer them in the right direction, you know, and try to help them out. Yeah. Well, yeah. That, that's all you can do. I mean, yeah. it was, I had a conversation with another group and essentially the same thing. It's like one thing could happen to you at one location or maybe the same thing where you see an apparition or an orb or something. But then you go to, let's say, your 21st location, and it could be something that you've never dealt with before. You know, that's it's all a learning experience when you're going into these places. Right. Each time. Right. Each time is different. And we tell yes. them, you know, you could go into one location, and it could be very active for you mm-hmm. two or three times in a row. But you're going to get that one night where there's nothing. Oh, for sure. For you sure. Know, you don't expect anything. So if it happens, we're yeah. surprised. Yeah. So we're, we're happy. Yeah. I- Exactly. <laughs> um, what's your uh, favorite piece of equipment that you use? Mine would be the dowsing rods. Oh, okay. That's a first. I haven't heard that one yet. Mine's the dowsing rods. I asked that yes, question. I use the dowsing rods, the pendulums. Yeah. I, I use that and my senses. So. Okay. Yeah. Mine would be the grids. The what? A grid. Like the laser. Oh, the grids. Yes. I love those. Those are so neat. Yeah, and I'm we, always like, oh, it's clubbing time when somebody turns it on. <laughs> right, right. Dancing. Dance party. Yes, yes. You can see something, you know? Yes. Or they, off or they shut off. We have a lot of shut off. Then oh, okay. Yes, people passing through for spirit. So. Yes. Yeah. yes. That's my favorite. Nice. Yeah, we don't. Well, we, we're different. We, um, we do like old school paranormal. Well, yeah. But, Minimum equipment that we'd use, the better for us. Yeah. Okay. Which is gotcha. really weird because everybody's purchasing, they're updating their equipment, and we mm-hmm. still work with what works for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what I love doing these interviews because I've gotten different answers on everything. I do change up some of the questions, but it's I have learned so much, and each crew has been set up so different. I've had ones that are just two people like yourselves. I've had ones that are up to 15 people and they go through was it, three different states. Like, oh, wow. It, it's, and just how they do things and whatnot. It's just, I, I have learned so much. And that's why I'm, what I'm hoping to do with doing these interviews is helping different crews. If something's not working for them, but they don't know what else to do, you know, by watching these, your guys' way may work for somebody else. You know, they may tweak it a little bit to make it their own, you know, that Absolutely. type of thing. But I know I've learned way more than I ever thought I would. And and it's been fabulous. Um, oh. No, that's great that you guys don't, that you don't depend on the equipment. Because most, most of the crews, they do. You're right. Like, our crew, there's eight of us. Okay. Four of them are my... My partner, uh, during the regular podcast, uh, Paranormal XL, she's a medium. She's my stepmother. She's our lead medium in our investigative group. So we got four that are on the spiritual side, and then there's four of us that are on the science side. So we kind of meet in the middle. We get it from all angles. Okay. You know, but we make it work. We, her and I handpicked our crew because it's one of those things that you get people that want to fight with you, you know? Oh, yes. 
the first thing we want, you have to respect everybody's opinion because it's different because paranormal isn't black and white. It's all gray. You know, it's, it's, yeah. it's one of those things. Um, so yeah, that's great that you guys do it old school. Like you, like you say, I think that's great. It's definitely yeah. something different. And that's sometimes I think that's what crews need to go back to maybe from time to time, you know, get back to the basics. I agree. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just keep it simple. Just yeah. Keep it simple. Yeah. Works. Yep. That's, That's for sure. Because carrying you know, all this stuff you know, around is horrible. Oh yes. <laughs> we tell people you only need your senses. Yes. To do it. Yep. You don't need the equipment. Your body will tell you. Yes. Oh, that's for sure. That is for sure. My daughter actually had her first experience. Um, we did a mini investigation with our live that we did, and she got touched on more than one occasion. And oh my gosh, she, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the only one that can see her because I have the IR camera because I wanted to get everything, you know, everybody's standing in a circle and you can tell when something hits or touches her, grabs her arm. And all of a sudden I'm like looking at her and she's just crying. She's like, I just feel so sad right now. And, yeah. and it was the history of the building was about a young girl. And she, her life was taken too soon. So I, I'm assuming my daughter's definitely an empath. And, okay. and I think that she was, that's what she was feeling that, that spirit reached out to her, you know, that type of thing. But it freaked her out. <laughs> it's, it's funny you say that because we were over in York County, um, and we had this similar experience. I, I didn't know we were in the morgue, um, oh. of the office, and I didn't okay. realize I was an empath before going there okay it just got so sad and i just kept sobbing and crying and he's like what's the matter i'm like i don't know i can't stop Uh uh-huh and Mm -hmm. it turns out that the woman had um miscarried some of her babies in the residential apartment that was in there okay i think Uh i was feeling that because i kept saying to him it feels like i lost like a loss like someone died yeah Yeah. so i had to walk her out and get her phone down (laughs) yeah it's it was, something that you can't control. Found out what she was, so. Because mm-hmm. yeah. that's it. Yeah, my daughter definitely got it from me. My son, I believe he is too. I just don't. He's only eleven. So when okay. you're dealing with kids with this, I I think it's great, but at the same time, you got to be careful with it too. Oh but, yeah. You know, because going through being a preteen to a teenager, you're already going through changes and think things are crazy anyway. But right. And so my daughter definitely is. I know I am because I've gotten physically sick from things before. Just and I'm what is happening? Like it, it is a scary thing until you know and then you can educate yourself on how to deal with it. Right. I agree. And then I, being able to use that out in the field, that's great. You know, I, there's so many people that ignore it. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's like, no, you, you don't need that equipment. Like you guys said, it's you. You're the equipment. Exactly. And I, I I think that's great. Mm-hmm. I'm just, I don't know. I, I'm just, that's just great. <laughs> yeah, I love that answer. What we felt. Yeah. <laughs> that is awesome. So I know that you aren't big fans of the equipment, but what is a piece of equipment that you would like to have that you do not? If money wasn't an issue, if whatever, somebody's like, you can have anything, a paranormal equipment, what would it be? We have most of it. Okay. The one thing I want to do is um, our spirit box, the, mm-hmm. S, the SB7. Yeah. Sometimes it's hard to get it to work the way you want it to work. And it's right. Crazy. So I yeah. want to upgrade to one of the Echo Box. Yeah. Echo okay. Box. Yeah, I've been looking into one of those, too. I have the same spirit box as you. Yeah, they're not that expensive. I found them on, um, I think it was Amazon Prime for like $100. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not they're that not bad. Too, they're not too bad. I mean, no. we could get more than that before. A very expensive hobby. Yes, yes, definitely can be. That's for they're sure. That way, but now. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's worth it. Yes, it is. Well, like I tell people, because they're like, why would you want to do that? I said, it's no different than you go sitting on a boat for six hours and not getting a fish. Right. You know, you spent thousands of dollars on that boat and, you know, all the money that goes into that or golfing or any other hobby. It's no different to me. I agree. It's, it's, you know, people sink their money into it. We just do something a little different. 
And it, it's yeah. intriguing because it's different every time. Every time. It's not the same thing. You're not going out on the water. You're not. Yeah. People yeah. will drive three or four hours to go somewhere. And our friends drive three or four hours to go, say, to the beach. Yeah. yeah. So we're seeing something different each time. They're still seeing the water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, that's why I, people quit asking me to go to places because, like, if we go, like, okay, Sarah, let's go, I don't know, uh, to the museum or something, which I love the museum. But at the same time, I'm, like, looking at, like, the cemeteries that are on the way, and I want to stop at all this. I, I love cemeteries. And the older, the better. I love Quaker cemeteries. Those are great. Okay. And we got a lot of them up here, and and a lot of them aren't marked like off the road like you got to take side trails and stuff and those are so cool and the history that's in those and the stories that all those people have you know and it's just great and i was like why do you want to stop i'm like duh really <laughs> you know what i like to do i don't want to go shopping i want to go to a cemetery <laughs> yeah absolutely we've done that <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> well my daughter kind of a proud mom moment I think it was last Sunday we were just kind of sitting. Uh, we had a little bit of downtime, and she's like, can we go to a cemetery? I was like, oh, really? You just made me so happy. Problem moment. <laughs> yes, I was like, oh, I love you. <laughs> Very sweet. So what was your um your first paranormal experience that you that you remember, even as a child? My first one was probably... Um, probably, oh, probably, <laughs> that's a long time. Probably 33 years ago. Okay. Um, we lived in a, a Victorian home here in okay. town. And we had gotten, my dad had purchased a black lab puppy. Okay. And the puppy was on the first floor behind the sliding wooden doors and behind the locked doors because you had to keep the puppy, you know, contained. And I slept in the attic with my younger sister. Okay. Well, it was Halloween, and my mom was very Christian, and um, to I guess just to act up and be defiant, I said to my <laughs> <laughs> I said to my youngest sister, who's six years younger than me, you know the ghosts and goblins are gonna get you tonight. And I kept saying it to her and over, and my mom's yelling up, "Stop it! You're gonna <laughs> that." So throughout the night. I felt something at my feet and I saw the puppy and I was hitting it, telling it to get away, you know, go downstairs. And it jumped up and it bit my lip. Well, my lip was bleeding. I go down to the second floor and I'm like, mom, my lip is bleeding. The puppy just bit my lip. And she said, there's no way that puppy could do that. It's locked behind the doors downstairs. So we go down, the puppy's still downstairs. And she said, I told you, don't mess with that stuff. She oh said, wow! Yes. <laughs> so oh my gosh! Me. There was no bats or anything like that in the house. Right. So it just happened, and that freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> His was a little different, but mine was just weird. That is weird. I'd be scared. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I lived in a. It used to be a hotel or a motel. Okay. So my room had two doors, but right in front of the attic, there was a creek in the floor. Well, my brother wasn't home. My mom and dad's bedroom was in front of me, and it would creak. So that's one thing. And then um, I was in the bathroom, and I went to open the door to get out. I could not get out. And nobody was home but my brother. So I yelled, Georgie, stop it. Well, he's down at the other end of the hallway. There's no way he could have gotten it. So... Why it stuck, maybe it was just stuck because it was an old door. I don't know, but it was a pretty freaky house we lived in. Yeah, wow. Yeah, and, you know, I was a, I was a, um, into nursing back in 2000, okay. and I worked in a nursing home, and I there wasn't a night I didn't go to work that I didn't hear or see something that I shouldn't have. That's so, a, yeah, I hear a lot of stories from the nursing homes. They're true, without a doubt. He, I don't even have to know. They're just true. She could no. Uh, yeah, I think I, I I was telling him the one that really freaked me out was I thought I saw the Grim Reaper like right in front of me. Oh, so, my goodness. Yes. I don't know. I came home and I said, I think she passed away and I think she went to hell. I, I don't know. You know <laughs> I really don't know if there was this 
there was this animal like wolf thing on the wall and it it really scared me so i ended up i wasn't in nursing too long after that oh yeah i, I have to say in, in the same house my brother would uh we would see cricket heads shadows which, really yeah it which freaks us out because we were watching um what a locust yeah the movie back then like the, when the devil took over the world and yeah all these bugs so it kind of freaked us out i don't know what that was from because cricket can't get two stories high but oh wow weird stuff weird you gotta visit us honey you gotta come yeah. to our area i, I know right <laughs> yes. crazy things wow awesome <laughs> awesome yeah it is awesome <laughs> um now let me see we are on question 13 that went by fast okay. um, <laughs> what are what bleh, what is your advice for new crews um well, <laughs> i think a new crew first of all has to be mature enough to handle it yeah i don't i don't like seeing these young kids go in and it's, it, it's a it's a fun factor for them mm-hmm. it's not a fun house so right. know your history, know your surroundings, don't let your guard down, and mm-hmm. make sure you're mature enough to handle it. Oh, for sure. That's great advice. That's what I would I would at least tell them that. And I would say don't fake evidence. No, or not to have to believe us. We need to not fake evidence. If it didn't yes. happen, it didn't happen. Right. Yeah. There's no shame in nothing happening. That's part of the gig. That right? is. It's probably 90% of the gig, you know? Yeah, yeah. You'll get your EVPs here and there or yeah. you'll capture, capture something on camera where you can't explain it. Mm-hmm, but, mm-hmm. You know, so you take the time and, and, and test all the light fixtures and the moonlight or the, the lights that are on and the angles of everything. Oh, yeah. It's really hard to determine, you know, actual proof of something. Right. Mm-hmm. Lately, we've been doing a lot. So much stuff's happening that we can't even capture it. You know, right. like in the big places, oh, we just saw a shadow person. Well, we didn't have our camera ready because we weren't ready for it. <laughs> right. right. Do that again. Yeah. yeah. Can we do that again? Hold on. <laughs> and take two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I, I would say definitely make sure they're ready for it because, and don't underestimate it. Yes. Oh, for sure. Most yeah. definitely. It can be. Definitely. Yeah. You know, estimate it. Yeah. yeah. But, you know. I have to say that we, another thing, we used to provoke a lot because that's what we saw on Ghost Adventures. Oops, did I say that? <laughs> and we went the other way. We got to respect them. And when we yes. respect them, we got more. Yes, you most definitely do because it's, I mean, it's the living trying to communicate with the dead and vice versa. Mm-hmm. But you wouldn't go up to somebody and try to disrespect them, you know, like, you need to. You're absolutely right, and that also goes along um, with you saying that. Be mature enough. Don't go in there and be like, "Come on, come on." You know, if you know something bad has happened there, why would you go in and why would you want something bad to happen to you? Right. Like, I agree. Yes. Like that doesn't make any sense. That's not why we're out here doing it. That's you okay. know, when I help people, if somebody needs to be crossed over, you know, or they mm-hmm. have a message for a loved one, that's essentially. I mean, that's why I, I know I got into it so I could help people, you know, because so many questions left unanswered and then stuff starts happening in their home and they can't figure out why or, you know, just they don't know who to call. I agree. Yeah. yeah. And just you, you get those ones out there that they're going to ruin it for the rest of us that are in it for the right reasons. Right. Until we understood it. I mean, it was probably it took a while. I mean, we were learning. Just, oh. We're always learning. You just get better results. Oh, sure. Nice. Yeah. You yeah. Know, we go in and say hello. You know, tell them who we are. Tell them our names. You know, and yeah. hope, you know, we get better results. Yeah. Oh, for sure. For sure. Well, thank you guys. This has been wonderful. Thank you. I have enjoyed it, and I'm actually going to fingers crossed start planning my trip out to Salem oh. in in June June of next year. No. I'm obsessed with Salem. Jealous. So maybe we'll jet down through. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Cause I'm like, okay, if we do this thing, we're going to do it right. <laughs> we're uh, going to make we'll those have, stops we'll and whatnot. We were yes. on the bucket list. That's also, yes, on the bucket yeah, list. Yes, yeah. yes. We are, we are obsessed with Salem. My stepmom or my partner, she actually just got back from there about two weeks ago. My dad took her for their anniversary. Nice. 
And I was like, really? I can't go? And he's like, it's our anniversary. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> Why would you go there and not let me go? Why don't you stay home? I'll go. <laughs> You'll get your chance. Go yep. on your honeymoon. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he actually does a true crime podcast. He wants nothing to do with my paranormal stuff. Oh, no. Well, we support each other like like it's nobody's business. Don't get me wrong on that. But when it comes to that, I have the permission to go as long as he doesn't have to. And I'm okay with that. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm, I'm hard to keep under wraps. When I get excited about something, I'm going to be like, okay, I need to go to the Proctor house, and I need to go to uh, Gallows Hill, and I, I – I'm all over the place. I understand why he doesn't want to go someplace with me. <laughs> oh, has he ever tried it? What's that? Has he ever gone with you at all? Or No, no. Yeah. I usually, I try to um, plan our investigations or our events, at, even at that matter that we put on, to help teach people the equipment and how to use your intellectual side of it, you know. Um, try to do those on Saturdays because that's his recording day. For, for okay. his podcast. So we, I have to keep it kind of, I don't have to, I just do. So that way, sometimes okay. you need to shut off the paranormal stuff and enjoy the family. And, Absolutely. you know, cause um, I, when I first got into it, it, that's all it was. I, I worked 10 hour shifts. So anything after work, it was all paranormal, all paranormal. Now my kids are like growing up and I missed out on a lot. So I try to, you know, balance keep, it. Yeah. And, but keep it a little separated cause they're not fully into it. I know if, my my kids love going with me. They're actually great helps. They're helpers. Because I, I live an hour away from anybody in our crew. They all live in the same town. I do not. Oh. So um, when, I usually have my kids with me. You know, we, we take our safety precautions. We do a prayer. And we do an exit prayer. We have our stones. You know, oh, we, yeah. we take all that. We say thank you and goodbye. Um, so they're also learning and then learning the history along with it, too. So it's great fun. And I get to spend that time with them and they're learning and, and learning that they enjoy it, too. That's awesome. So it's just yeah. something different, you know. So, yeah. yeah. Yay. Well, good for you. Yeah. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully sometime I get out that way, head out east. I'll get a hold of you guys. Oh, I, yeah. 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 Get a hold of us. Tell me some cool stuff. Yeah. Hold her. She does the Facebook stuff. Yep. Yeah, I'll, I'll, okay. I'll get you around. I'm not the computer guy. <laughs> she does it a lot. Thank well, her for not everything. This, but yeah, yeah. Well. I try. I know the basics. My 11 year old knows everything. I'm like, I yeah. know how to turn it on. <laughs> My four year old granddaughter knows more than I know. So. I, I know it. It's a sad <laughs> day. I know. <laughs> but thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you guys so much.